It's time now for Sport. We're joined by Elliot Richardson here in the studio. The Olympics over. What is Elliot going to do with his time from now on? <laughs> I really don't know, Mark. I'm not sure. But uh, after 16 days of sporting action involving over 11,000 athletes, the 2016 Games closed on Sunday night as the Olympic flame was extinguished in Rio. The iconic Maracanã Stadium provided the setting in wet conditions for a samba-like carnival as Rio, which was awarded the Games back in 2009, celebrated the end of South America's first ever Olympics. The three-hour-long ceremony celebrated an Olympics which welcomed 206 nations and a refugee team who both competed in over 300 events. Well, around 3.7 billion people worldwide are believed to have followed the Games. Rio handed over to Tokyo, which will host in 2020, with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe dressed as computer game character Super Mario. <laughs> now, the Olympic medals table ended with the United States taking top spot for the second successive Games with 46 gold medals. The USA's overall total of 121 is their biggest haul since LA in 1984. Great Britain finished second in the table for the very first time with 27 golds, one ahead of traditional powerhouse China. Britain's total of 67 is two more than they managed at their home Olympics in London. Team GB also won golds in 15 sports. That's more than any other nation. France finished seventh in the table with 10 golds and 42 medals overall behind Japan, who were in sixth. Now, the disgraced US swimmer Ryan Lochte has been dropped by two of his sponsors after exaggerating about a robbery in Rio. Swimwear brand Speedo has ended its endorsement deal with the 12-time Olympic medalist after he said he was robbed at gunpoint, despite actually vandalising a petrol station door along with three fellow US swimmers. Ralph Lauren has also ended its association with the 32-year-old, who has earned about $15 million from endorsements throughout his career. Now, Fiji's men's rugby sevens players were honoured with a parade in the nation's capital, Suva, on Monday, with thousands greeting their heroes who won Olympic golds. Well, Fiji, who were favourites to win the event, beat Great Britain 43-7 in the final to win the nation's first ever Olympic medal. Rugby is the national sport in the Pacific Island, and locals are toasting their English head coach, Ben Ryan, who arrived in Fiji three years ago for guiding them to that historic gold medal. Now, French football giants Olympique Marseille are said to have been taken over by Gerard Lopez, who owns Formula One manufacturer Lotus. Well, several French media outlets have said the takeover is already complete and that former boss Marcello Bielsa will return to manage the Ligue 1 side. Luxembourg-based businessman Lopez is expected to be officially announced as the club's new owner this weekend when Argentine boss Bielsa will be appointed manager. Well, Bielsa previously managed the club between 2014 and 2015, although he quit after just one match of the 2015-16 campaign, citing a fallout with current owner Margarita Louis-Dreyfus, who has actually denied that a takeover is imminent. Well, Bielsa left Italian side Lazio in July lie after just two days in that particular job. Now, Olympic gold medalist Andy Murray had his career best winning run ended by Marin Cilic as the Croats won the Cincinnati Masters title. Well, Murray, who defended his Olympic singles title last Sunday after beating Juan Martín del Potro, was broken twice in the first set as Cilic took it 6-4. The second set was tight all the way, but after having four break points saved, Cilic got the decisive break in game 11 before he served out the match. 6-4, 7-5 to the 2014 US Open champion, who beats Murray for just the third time in 14 attempts. A two-time Cincinnati champion, Murray's winning run ends at 22 matches. And Angelique Kerber has missed out on the top spot in the women's rankings after a shock defeat to Carolina Pliskova in the Cincinnati final. The German would have overtaken Serena Williams as the new world number one had she won this, but Pliskova broke the Kerber serve five times throughout a one-sided encounter. 6-3, 6-1 to the Czech, who claims her sixth tour title. Kerber, who was also beaten by Monica Puig in the Olympic final last Sunday, suffers yet another tough defeat. Serena Williams' 183-week run at the top of the rankings goes on. FDJ rider Alexandre Geniers claimed his second career Grand Tour stage victory as he took stage three honours at the Vuelta de España. Well, Geniers was the last man at standing while they break away. 
for the 176.4k stage that went from Marion to the summit finish at Mirador de Azaro in northwest Spain. Well, the Frenchman won ahead of Movistar's Ruben Fernandez, who was 21 seconds back. Alejandro Valverde was third, while Team Sky's Chris Froome bidding to become the first man in 38 years to win the Tour de France and the Vuelta in the same year was fourth. Now, Fernandez is in the leader's red jersey. So plenty of sport to look forward to still, despite the Olympics being all over. Plenty to keep you busy, Elliot. I'm pleased to see you. You're well occupied. Excellent stuff. Elliot Richardson there with all the sport. It's time now for Focus in Burma, a peace conference led by...